today I have with me the brand new Škoda Kamik facelift 2024 version and in this video we will talk about everything I will do a full review interior exterior technical data multimedia cockpit everything about the car you will find out in this video I will have a separate video also on my channel test drive consumption test all that stuff in a separate video so check it out probably it's already online if it's not will come soon so click the subscribe button to see notification when that video will come out before we start with the technical data I want to tell you if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland and if you want to see the car buy the car test drive the car check out Amag Škoda Amag in Bern they are super nice they will help you with everything and they also have the other new Škoda models like Superb, uh, Scala and will come also the Kodiak will be really interesting so yeah definitely check them out the version that I have with me is the Monte Carlo version that means the most expensive version but also the most beautiful version that comes with a lot of features comfort features safety features and so on the version in terms of engine I have the 1.5 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line that that comes with 150 horsepower combined with a seven speed automatic transmission DSG lovely combination I drive the car before and I have to say not only that they have a lot of experience with this engine with this gearbox but the car work together really smooth in a nice premium feeling I could say also the price the starting price of this Monte Carlo Kamik in Switzerland at least it's 42,210 francs and usually it should be more expensive but they already have a discount so the final price will be 44,900 francs here at Amag Škoda Amag in uh, Bern so yeah definitely check them out with what kind of options come standard this Monte Carlo for example here you can see that you have the digital screen 8 inch you have the full LED lamps on the rear with dynamic turning signals you have bluetooth it comes also with dual zone climatic system it comes with cornering feature for the headlamps i will show you a little bit later we will talk about that front assist adaptive cruise control full light metrics high beam function that's really important because now new on this new comic facelift the headlights there are metrics led light and they are capable of let's say turn off different pixel in order to not blind the other traffic participants so it's always if you drive like in automatic way on the night time on dark street the car will automatically turn on the high beam and then it will stay like that and just try to somehow not blind the other traffic participants the bikes the car so we'll turn off the pixel in that area where the cars are so yeah it's a super smart system and then you have also the panoramic glass roof that comes also without paying extra that's super nice you will see later other than that what it's optional and what you have to pay for is the hook 1060 franc assistant drive plus package 970 winter premium package 300 francs extra that's included also the heated windshield that i will show you a little bit later the warranty it's 600 you can get two plus three years convenient plus package it's also 1500 black magic roof 560 navigation uh, wheels 18 inch wheels that looks fantastic only 630 totally deserve that because they look really good and clever clever bonus it's a minus minus 2300 you have a discount here that's super cool anyway let me give you even some deeper technical data and then we will start with the review so as I said before 1.5 liter four cylinders in line it's a front wheel drive system combined with a seven speed automatic transmission DSG total power 150 horsepower 250 newton meters the top speed of the car 213 km per hour can do 0 to 108.3 seconds the co2 emission 130 grams and the consumption estimated vltp 5.8 liters i test that in the test drive video if you want to see that check it out to see the or result at least the trunk space 400 liters is not as spacious as some rivals and not as spacious in the trunk as was expected for a Škoda car where all other models it's incredibly spacious but if you fold down the seats completely it will go up to 1395 liters and also the space for the passengers in the back you will see that it's really really good the fuel tank capacity 50 liters turning circle 10.1 meter ventilated brake disc on the front and normal brake disc on the rear 18 inch rims so those are the most important technical data I hope I didn't forget 
get something. Let's go and start with a review, exterior, interior, multimedia, and then in the end we will take the conclusion. So yeah, let's do it guys. This is the key, kind of the same classic key, they didn't change anything here, but it's simple and it's light. Also what you can do with the key, of course, lock the car, unlock the car, open the trunk because this car come with automatic lift gate and not only that but it comes also with cool feature i have to show you this is new on the car if you come here in the back and if you hit it with your leg i don't know where it should be around here come on come on open 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 or i have to slide it like that i'm not sure if you have this on this car as an option but you have the possibility to open the trunk in this way come on man maybe i have to lock the car first and then maybe it works? No, I don't think so. Come on, come on, come on, open. I'm not sure where it is, but I know it comes optional with this feature. Anyway, if that's not working, you can press this button and then the trunk will open automatically. And that's super convenient. Plus, I'm not sure I didn't try before if you can also close it. No, I guess not. I have, you have to come here and press this button in order to close it. But other than that, the good part is that you, it comes with keyless entry. That means it has a sensor here on both front doors. So you can unlock the car like that, very simple. Or you can lock it by putting your finger right here, having your key in your pocket. Of course, you have also this, let's say, classic key, uh, mechanical key that you can unlock the car if you don't have any more battery. It comes also, as you saw before, with electric folding mirrors that also uh, super convenient in the tight parking lots and other than that uh, this is what you can do with the key if you have to compare the facelift with the pre-facelift i definitely have to say that this one look much better also in this monte carlo version look even better it has much more sleeker design much nicer lines the new grille in the front also on the back also the new headlamps and the tail lights are different and they are new and it looks definitely better if until now i couldn't say that kamik was a beautiful car the pre-facelift but this one it started to be nicer and nicer and i think this uh, facelift look definitely definitely beautiful i think it's it's also uh, much more sportier in this monte carlo version with sharp edges sharp lines i think this glossy black that comes on this monte carlo fit really nice with a red color with the rims with the lines of the car i think it's it's really really nice not sure about you but with those 18 inch wheels for 600 and something i don't remember exactly the price i tell you in the beginning it looks really cool it fits really really nice on the car it's much nicer with this contrast of color glossy piano you can see they use a lot of glossy piano black on the uh, down skirt it use on the roof it use in the front on the grill on the down bumper in the front and also in the back and it make the car look crazy nice Anyway, I like it. I, I could say I really like this car this time. In terms of design, it's really nice. And in this Monte Carlo, it's beautiful. As you see, it's kind of a double color from here up. It starts this black. So you have a black roof that comes across here in the back on the roof spoiler where you have some extended wings in black glossy. And you can see for the first time when I see this different element design here in this area, look quite, quite nice. Here you have the brake light LED, tinted windows on the rear, heated windows plus you have this wiper uh, and here you have tinted windows as well you will see the visibility when we go inside and around the windows you have this rubber almost everywhere the roof rails are also in glossy black that looks nice and also up here uh, even though you can see it is that panoramic glass roof that looks incredible from the from the interior of the car on the B pillar, you have this glossy piano. Here is the mirror, kind of the same mirror. Nice design, sharp, small, quite aerodynamic. And also the caps are black. Then you have the turning signal, LED light. And then you have Monte Carlo writing on the both sides uh, to know which version is this. Also the handles are relatively the same. The quality is quite good. And also on the doors, they sound relatively the same. So not big change here. So in terms of sound, I think it's it's quite nice the quality it's pretty good of course in the doors we will go later you still have this umbrella right here and all that clever stuff 
are on the car but we will talk about that a little bit later when we go there also in the mirror inside here you have the blind spot technology as on almost all Volkswagen group cars and up here on the windshield even though you have this clever holder there you have here all that cameras and sensors for the raining and light and plus to read the traffic speed limits you can see the front end look much more aggressive you look at the lines on the hood and the new grille in black the rear bumper down there that make it that lip bumper lip look much nicer make it more aggressive you can see the head metrics headlights that are adaptive they have cornering they have adaptive they are super nice the latest is technology in terms of lights nothing to complain and even the fog lamp it's led light and it looks super super nice down here really cool lightning system those are the matrix light you can see the skoda crystal lightning latest is technology also nice design inside here and here is the turning signal that it's following not only on the rear but also on the front and also this area it's turning in daytime running light when the turning signals are off but in general from my point of view they look nice and in the nighttime i can't wait to test it when i have the car for the nighttime anyway nice lines on the hood skoda logo and down here we have a new grille with some piano black here is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake behind here and then you have some air intakes that allow the air to go to the radiator to cool down different parts if you go also here under the fog lamps you can see you have some air intakes that allow the air to go inside here and go around the car uh, that improved aerodynamic but also it looks quite sporty and aggressive you have in the front four parking sensors and they are not used only for parking those sides they are used also for blind spot technology and what i like the most is that down here look at this element this lip i call it a lip bumper it looks so so cool the air intakes it make the car look so aggressive so sporty and then you have also air intake down here with the grill so super nice I really really like the rims as well 18 inch wheels nice combination between this kind of uh, chrome with black glossy then you have 18 inch wheels you can see right in here ventilated brake discs on the front and then on the rear you have normal brake discs but kind of the same configuration and then what I like on the side side skirt they add this plastic right here glossy plastic that make the car look so aggressive and so nice and also on this red color you can see every single line of the car how nice it is on the right side you have the tank door that quality is quite good and here you have also this clever thing for the winter super super nice love it you can see from here the lightning the new tail lights following turning signal look also good from the back man it's so aggressive the back led light turning signals the daytime running like kind of a tail light also led and then the crystal design here a little bit lower some light reflector plus this fog lamp that it's also led light and then you have kamik writing in black on this monte carlo version led lights on the number plate reverse camera and again this skoda writing in a black glossy lovely on the back four sensors as well plus this nice design on the bumper this is also new aggressive and even though you don't see any exhaust pipe the bumper look really nice and it has no nice lines and sharp edges plus some glossy piano around here and you have the hook there i will show you in a second but overall this is the exterior design guys what do you think you like it write me in the comments what do you think about the exterior design all right something very important that i want to point out and i forget to tell you is that I noticed that you see before the engine was on and it was so silent it's it's crazy silent you barely barely hear the engine and for me this is so 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 important and look at the lights right now how cool they look those crystal lights from this angle when they are on this is a daytime running light it's transforming from here it's not so special but if you look from here oh man it looks so so cool and special open the lift gate in the front to the engine it's crazy heavy and it's manual of course but once you go here you can see the same array that Volkswagen uses with and also Skoda kind of the same thing here's the air filter you have also the 12 volt battery the fuse box on the right side the liquid right there super smart liquid cooling for different engine and that's it now automatic lift gate you saw it before so easy to open it up once you open it up here you can see the space and the entrance relatively big 
from the point of view of entrance, nothing to complain, man. I mean, it's super big. I like the fact that it's all flat. You have a flat floor here, some uh, plastic at the entrance. You have under, under the floor another floor where you can put your uh, your stuff. This one stays also like that. This is super smart. So you can put your things and under this, you have another huge space where you can put a spare tire or yeah, whatever you want to put there, uh, you can use it. So super smart. I really like it. I really think it's more than enough space here for a family with two kids to go around holiday or something like that. You have hooks here, hooks in every corner. You have storage space left. You have a hook. I think it's a hook here. Yeah. Then you have another hook. You have also this button for the, yeah, definitely the hook, but it's semi-automatic. You have to pull it a little bit. I'm gonna push it back, press this button, and then just press it back like that. Here you have a yellow light in the trunk. That's something to keep in mind. That's a hook, that's a hook. And here should be a 12 volt port, but it's not. Yeah, so you don't have 12 volt port inside here, but you have plenty of space. Anyway, let me take out this protection because it comes also with this protection. Uh, and then we will see how it looks with the seats folding down. From my point of view, it's more than enough space. And I like the fact that it's quite square. So you have plenty, plenty of space to fit in big items without any problem. You can see also from this angle, the way it looks. Now, the thing is, I wish it has something in the middle here to be able to fold down the middle part in order to carry long items, but it's not. You have to fold it 60, 40. So you just have to do it like that in order to carry big items, but it's so easy to do it. And once you do it, you have, yeah, let's say almost a flat floor, maybe around 90, 90% flat. Look at the glass roof. Ooh, I love that glass roof. Look at this, how it looks. This is it. This is the space. More than enough space to fit in here a lot of items. So yeah, for the size of the car, a small SUV, compact SUV, I think you have plenty of space to carry uh, a lot of items here. If I go on the side, open the door, big entrance here, relatively big entrance, so you can fit in your stuff also from the side. So you can see from this angle, the way it looks, the entrance, the quality here, it's pretty good. Down here, you have a big transmission tunnel, but relatively big space to fit in some extra stuff around here if you need it. So in general, yeah, this is the space here. In the back, we have one window that it's fixed and one can be fold down. And I will show you right now how much you can fold it down, completely down. So that's another extra plus. This is great. Up here in the back, even though it's plastic, you can see this really nice trim. I really love the trim. I really love this black plus this matte red color fits so nice. You have the illusion that you have an ambient light in the back here. The handles in chrome quite good quality. You have a small speaker here, another speaker down here. And here you have this carbon fiber effect, fake carbon fiber, but it's soft material and it's quite, quite nice. Very useful in the back here. This is the button for the window. Here you have some storage space, relatively good. Entrance in the car, as you saw before, plenty of space here. Once you go inside, you will notice this phenomenal glass roof. Man, this is one of the most beautiful panoramic glass roof because it's all over the roof. It's so big, huge entrance, huge entrance. You can see the space here. I will go in a second to show you how much space I have. Those are the seats on this Monte Carlo version. And the good part is that they kind of don't use any leather or animal product. So everything is a stove upholstery. It's kind of textile material. So I like that. Also those lines look really nice. Isofix in the front, two child seats. And you have also Isofix in the, in the front, sorry. <laughs> One Isofix in the front and two Isofix in the back. So you, you can carry two, three kids. And side support, some carbon fiber effect on the side and white stitches. Then in the middle, you have an armrest where you can rest your arms, of course, in textile material plus two cup holders right there. Behind the front seats, sporty front seats. You have also this design here, plus you have some storage space. And I like very much that you don't have any plastic here. This is super useful. And then you have another hook here. Down here, you have huge transmission tunnel, two USB-C. This is super useful because they are pretty powerful. So you can charge your uh, laptop, for example. And then you have those air vents that looks quite nice and they are super, super useful. Now, let me close the door. Ah, oh, the door sound pretty good. Ooh, good quality. Anyway, 
I already adjust the seats in the front before I start this part of the video. And I have like six finger over my head. I'm 173 centimeters, by the way, so more than enough space here. Uh, and on the legs behind myself, because I adjust it in my driving position, I have like huge space, more than enough. And I can stretch a little bit the legs under the front seat, so no problem. In terms of uh, space here, it's more than enough. Good visibility outside, even though the window is split in two. I have pretty good visibility outside. I have a handle up here, hook, good quality on the roof, quite smooth and nice. And here you have an LED light. Oh, crystal LED light. Look at this, it looks so cool. Nice. Anyway, going in the middle, for me it's easy. I still have plenty of legs room on the both seats and on the head I have less space maybe four, he, four free here. And if I go to the window, I have more like five finger. Stretch my hand almost completely, not completely, and almost completely. But I think three people will be fine, but not super comfy because on the back, it's quite stiffer. On the uh, middle here, it's quite stiffer. So for short trips, will be just fine. Look at the dash, how beautiful it is. I love that red matte insertion. Everything seems to be clean and nice. And I like the fact that it uses a lot of physical buttons. This is really, really important because it's easy to adjust. And yeah, overall, it kind of keep the same look at Skoda user suite, but it looks nice. It looks nice. I, I definitely like it. One big window from one piece, good visibility. You will see it in a second. Up here, the same design as on the rear, but this time here it's soft material. Everywhere on the upper side, it's soft material. The same black with this red matte handle, the same kind of carbon fiber effect that it's soft and nice here. Then you have the buttons for the windows, electric adjustable mirrors, folding mirrors from here, lock the windows, plenty of storage space in the door bands, another speaker here, and then you have the button to open the trunk. And then at the entrance, I like very much this Kamik writing on this plate with black and chrome. And then you have aluminum pedals, the same pedals that Volkswagen Group use it. Plus you have electric adjustable seats. Every position, even the lumbar position, you can adjust it from here. Super, super useful. Big, big entrance again in the front as well. And you can see one more time that beautiful glass roof, plus those sporty seats that comes on Monte Carlo version. And you can see the stitches, the white stitches. You can see the design here. You can see those lines in the middle, the carbon fiber effect on the side here and here. And overall, the side support are big, bright seats. So yeah, the comfort was good. I drive the car before and they are super fine. Now here you have some storage space where you can put different items. You have the classic lighting position from where you can set up the lights. And a little bit higher, you have this carbon fiber effect, the same as you have it on the seats and on the doors. It looks nice, some red matte, glossy. The vents feel, yeah, okay, they are not super smooth, but they are, they are just fine, they look good. And here up, you have also soft material everywhere on the dash, that's, that's really important. Everywhere on the dash up, you have soft material. Now let me go inside the car. Visibility around the window, nothing to complain, it's really, really good. Also in the mirrors, around the windows, even in the mirror up here, it's great visibility because you have that straight window in the back there. And if you go around, you can see in the back, almost no blind spot in the back there. Visibility wise, it's super, super good. Armrest, adjustable armrest, I like how smooth it is, good quality, pretty, pretty good. And here you have some storage space where you can put different items. You have a 12 volt port, you have this manual transmission, something that I wish to be different. Not sure if you can get it optional as an um, electronic handbrake, write me in the comments if you can do that, it will be great. Also, it didn't come with auto hold function and no electronic handbrake. This is something that I wish to have on the car. Otherwise, I don't have any complaints. Uh, two cup holders here. You have the button to change different driving modes, uh, start stop engine button. And here are the parking sensors. From here, you can change the different driving modes. You have echo, normal, sport mode and individual. If you go to individual and if you go up here to change, you can change the steering. 
you can change the drive mode, you can change the AC, you can change the uh, light assistance and air conditioning. So you can change them from there in a super simple way. Great, and then you have this big stalk to change the gears where you can go, for example, in reverse. Once you go in reverse, you can see the reverse camera. Resolution wise, it's pretty fine. It's not the best, but pretty fine. And you can see those active lines that help you guide you to uh, park the car uh, very easy. I really like it. I have nothing to complain. Plus you have these parking assist info views plus trailer view plus you have this wider view. So yeah, from my point of view, it's pretty cool. Then you can go all the way on drive mode and you have the D. Plus if you wanna go in sport mode, you just slide it once in the back and you go in sport mode directly like that. If you wanna change the gears manually, you go right and you change plus and minus, or you can change it from here, from the pedals behind the steering wheel. So super useful stuff, great add-on. Another great add-on is the fact that you have two USB ports here, super powerful, plus a big, big storage space for your phone. You can't charge it wireless. I don't, I'm not sure if you can get it optional to charge it wireless, but I like the fact that it's a rubber, so it stays really good there and it's pretty big space. A little bit higher, of course, climatic system with physical buttons, something that I love to see on all the cars, super simple to use, adjust from the wheels, crazy nice and you have also heated seats and if you want to go for example into the menu you press menu and if you go up on the screen you can see the menu of the climatic system and in the menu of the climatic system you find the air care and you find the settings extra settings where you can uh, turn on automatic windscreen heating and you have the button right here. This is automatic. This is not automatic. This is manual windscreen heating. If you want to uh, heat your windscreen, you press this button because this windscreen, it's heated everywhere. Not only like in other cars, only the wipers part, but this one, it's all. And how you see that? If you look, go closer, you can see between the windows, some lines. You see those lines? Yeah, that lines hit the windshield anyway. A little bit higher, you have also those vents. Those feel better, a little bit smoother, nicer. Hazard light, lock the car. And a little bit uh, upper here, we have this beautiful carbon fiber effect, plus those little holes here. I really like the way it looks, also soft material everywhere. I like it. We have a speaker up there. You have also here plenty of storage space in the globe box here you have the start stop engine button and another one of my favorite part in the car is this phenomenal steering wheel that you can adjust it forward backward down up manually and it's fantastic monte carlo writing the quality is the same as you uh, go inside an Audi. if you put me inside the car and i have to put the hands on the steering wheel i will definitely say this is an Audi or something like that because it's it's crazy crazy good quality and it looks also sporty and nice and free spoke beautiful and it has physical buttons here and here for different functions here for heating steering wheel it comes with heated steering wheel voice command uh, change the radio stations plus the volume from here behind the steering wheel you have this stalk to adjust autopilot and cruise control and lane assist and all that stuff. You can adjust it from here. And then on the right side, you have the buttons for, again, this is uh, activating the uh, travel assist. Yeah, from here you activate it. And I think I was wrong in my test drive video when I said it's not working the lane assist. Anyway, probably I forget to turn on the travel assist because I turn on only the lane assist. Anyway, if you saw this video, well, probably you can correct me. Here you can adjust, you press this button on the steering wheel, you can go to all the safety features that you can uh, uh, turn it on and off. And then here you can customize the screen, this beautiful screen. It comes with this uh, digital screen as standard, if I'm not wrong, on all version. And you can customize in so many ways. You can see the driving view, assistance system view, the navigation, you can have it in the middle, audio, telephone, vehicle status, if it has some errors or driving data with consumption and so on. If you leave the navigation, for example, you can even more change it and customize to see all the navigation on the screen, or you can see the navigation in the middle plus consumption or wherever you want to see on the side. And you can see also this driver view, or you can see this sport view that looks so cool. And that's it back to normal. 
fantastic. I really like it. To be honest, I, I definitely love this. This is one of the parts that I... Oh, I have to turn off the heating on the steering wheel. Definitely one part that I love. Probably one of the best digital cockpit out there. Up here, you saw before, mirror, vanity mirror without any light, plus a handle. Very good quality. I'd say from 1 to 10, an 8 to the roof. Then you have LED lights here. Plus you have the possibility to close and open this curtain if it, that bother you from the sun. You can do it electrically just like that. And a little bit higher you have info button, uh, service button and SOS button plus some microphones around here. Let me adjust the armrest a little bit forward in a perfect way. I really love this armrest. Let's go to the screen. The screen is not that big as you find it these days in most of the other cars, but it's perfect size to have all that views right here without any problem. The only thing I wish to the screen was to be tilted to the driver because it's kind of straight away. I wish to be a little bit to the driver. Other than that, it's very nice. It's very responsive. You have shortcut buttons on the side here and here, and uh, it's quite, quite responsive. You can go through, you, you will see, uh, even the navigation is not super smooth as I saw on the new Kodiak. Uh, but it's quite nice. I mean, it's more than enough. You have uh, all this information on the map with the latest this update from the map. So it, it's, it's quite nice. You can see once you set a destination and you press start. Wait, let's try again. Once you set the destination and you press start, you will see how fast it's loading. It's like almost in no time. So you saw here, super, super fast. I like it. So the navigation, it's quite good. And it, the car gives you also the information about the traffic signs. Uh, that's, that's great. Good. Going back to home here. In the home, you have kind of two pages that you can customize. You can add wherever you want uh, to the pages. You can go plus. You can add a telephone here. If you can go and customize in so many ways, manual driving data, Wherever you want, audio, you can leave it like that. So it's super cool that you can customize this. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can go to car. Here on the car, you have all the settings of the car. You can see the consumption on the last kilometers. You can see also the virtual cockpit. You can customize it from here. Vehicle status, if the car has some errors, tire pressure and so on. If you go even to settings, uh, you can activate, deactivate the traction control, the tire information, the lights information here, dynamic light. You can turn off the dynamic lights if you don't like the following turning signals. Automatic headlights control in rain, convenience turning signals. You can choose on which side to drive and so on. Then you have the background lights. Of course, you can customize from here. You have only two colors, white and red. And yeah, you can choose the, the position. Parking and maneuvers, all that settings. You have mirror swipers and yeah, so on units. You can change them from here as well. And if you go up here in the corner to menu, you have all the menu of the car. This is the main menu where you find everything like legal, manual here on the screen, the air conditioning information, the settings information where you find you can change the time and date screen, language, you can change the units, kilometer, miles, and you find all those important things. Plus, on the first page, you find the driver assistance systems where you have all these lane assist, blind spot technology. Uh, yeah, you see, I was wrong, man, because it was on only the lane assist, but I didn't use the travel assist. So that was my mistake in the test drive video. Oh, for those of you that saw that video, uh, I have to correct myself somehow. Here are the uh, safety features. Then you have the sound settings here. You can adjust the sound settings. Uh, so you can choose rock, pitch, position here, volume. So you have so many settings on the, on the, on the um, sound system. That's really cool. And then we have the vehicle right here. And you see before the vehicle. And then you have the um, smart link, of course, the telephone, radio, and media. So yeah, that's it. And navigation, of course, that you saw before. And other than that, easy, easy to use. Yeah, I guess I cover almost everything, guys. I don't know if I miss something. One speaker here on the B pillar. So the car comes not only with 
uh, lane assist, but it comes also with autopilot. But I was in the test drive video, I was I was wrong. I just forget because there are so many because there are so many cars out there. I sometimes forget, and I saw now because usually you have this stall behind the steering wheel and you adjust it and turn on and off from there. But I forget that here on the steering wheel is another button from where you activate it. So my mistake. Anyway, guys, I hope the video was useful. I hope you get some useful information from here. Check out also the test drive video. You will get more information on how it's on the road and how it's to drive this new uh, Škoda Kamik facelift 2024. Uh, from my point of view, super nice car. And if you will buy this car, I don't think you will uh, regret. I think you will be quite happy with the car because it's pretty well built car with reliable engine and uh, gearbox and I think uh, Volkswagen Group have, and Škoda, of course, it's in Volkswagen Group, they have a lot of experience with those. So yeah, definitely go and test drive it, go and see the car, see if you like it, but uh, you can check them out if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out in Bern, Amag, Škoda Amag in Bern, I will leave the link in the description also on the screen, they are super nice, they will help you with everything you can do, the test drive, nice people. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my videos, I really appreciate that. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Thank you again, guys. Stay close and see you soon in the next one. Bye, guys.